Okay, so the next step here is to basically make isochrones from our point data. So the goal here is to take our point data and turn it into a raster surface, kind of a two-dimensional representation of th three dimensions based on the time. So just like a DEM, it's a digital elevation model, this would be a digital chrono model or something. So how do we do that? Well, this is where we're going to use spatial analysts. So let's go up here and click on the toolbox spatial analyst. And the first thing we're going to want to do is use interpolation. And as those of you that have had me in class know, I generally just default to Krieging. Probably not a good idea, and I never advised you to do that. I told you guys you should think about your data long and hard before settling on the best method, which is always Krieging. Just kidding. All right. Sorry, I had to slug water there. That was probably gross. So what we're going to do is input our point features. Do you think I should blame Windows or ArcMap for that? Okay. And then we have to choose a Z value, and our Z value is going to be time in minutes. Okay. And here's something that's really important. You have to save raster to a folder with no spaces in the name. And so... I am going to do that here. Uh, I'll call it YouTube Demo 2. Okay, so you caught me. I was recording one that got screwed up. And you can play with a bunch of the properties here. I'm going to stick with the standard, but if you have questions, you can go to the help, etc., etc. All right, I'm going to hit OK. Let's see how long this takes. Looking pretty good. So, we have... We have some interesting, uh, dis an interesting display here. It's a horrible color scheme, and basically, though the raster is okay, it, it's not ideal. So let's move on. Let's try to get contours from this. So staying in the same spatial analyst toolbox, we're going to close interpolation, and we're going to go down to surface, and let's make contours. So let's double click that puppy. And we're going to do it from that raster. And um, let's see. Basically, I would just go with the default. I tried changing it once and it got screwed up. Then we have to choose an interval. So what's our interval going to be? Well, we break it down into hours. We could do 30 minutes or 20 minutes. Let's do 20 minute intervals and see what happens. I'm kind of nervous actually. All right, so let's turn off the grubby background. We now have isochrones from a central point. Now, there's a good chance that there's some, there's some errors in this data. You know, I probably mistyped something in here. Because if we zoom in, let's add a little map background here. Uh, I don't want data from ArcGIS. Just a base map, please. So I'll add a nice, hey, a light gray canvas. There we go. And maybe make these lines a little less green, if you will. And we'll turn off the dots. So according to our According to the plot here, we can get to Stanton in 20 minutes, Charlottesville in 20 minutes. That seems dubious. Hmm, something is amiss here. It doesn't look like the interval was really 20. Nonetheless, this is how you make contours. Now we have to figure out what went wrong with our data. Um, and also, one final thing I need to show you. So I guess one learning experience from this is it rarely goes correctly on the first go. But notice how jagged these lines are. They're not the most beautiful looking lines ever. So one other thing we would do if once we get the data how we like it and we get rid of any human errors. Arr, that's me, human error. One big human error. Um, what we would do is go to the cartography tools generalization toolbox. And what we'd want to do is smooth this line. So first you could simplify it, 
let's see if this works on my computer. Oh, good. Sometimes you don't get this tolerance box, and that's if you have Internet Explorer 11 installed, ArcGIS won't give you the option to use this tool. So you need to uninstall that, I found out, last night at midnight. So let's go here and put in Contours YouTube, and we'll call it Smooth. All right, let's do it. And there we go. It's a little bit more, um, a little bit smoother at this point. Not necessarily the most smooth thing I've ever seen, but we can even smooth it out a bit more in Illustrator later. So voila, we now have isochrones, and um, I'd need to go in and, and see what went wrong here. Maybe my interval was too big, so maybe I would have to type in 10. But Charlottesville is definitely an hour away, so something went a miss, but I can't say what exactly. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, play around with this. Have fun. And yeah, welcome to the world of isorhythmic mapping.